It's very important to have connection with people outside the home physically. You know, people just being very, very disconnected. Um, and sometimes one of the best ways, by the way, is to have, have some kind of a hobby. Okay, like so I know some of my cousins, my friends, all these kind of guys, they actually stay in contact because they all play football on Thursday evenings, for example. They see each other every week. They are there. They're doing something productive outside of just, you know, sitting or eating or whatever. Um, and they get to connect with each other. Uh, back in the days, I used to do this thing. I haven't done it for a long time. But I used to do this thing where once a week I would ring someone randomly. Like, let's say there's a friend I haven't spoken to in six months, I would ring him. Or a cousin I haven't spoken to in a year, I would ring him. And it's a, it's a very enriching thing, actually. Like, because usually people only call you when they want something, right? So they're like, okay, like, let me call this guy because I need money. Or let me call this guy because I need advice. Or let me call this guy because I need his help, right? But if you call someone for no reason at all, like, I would say it's a, it's a very big emotional deposit with that person, you know? Um, yeah. So I found it to be like really, really beneficial. And I, w I would say to them, when I call them, I'll be like, look, bro, uh, just in case you're wondering, I don't need anything. I don't, I don't want anything. I just wanted to call you to find out how you are, what's going on, catch up, because it's been a long time, right? And I found those calls to be really amazing. So I think doing that with, like you said, your cousin and family, and all, I think that's really good. But at the same time, I think it's very good for you mentally and it's good for your health to have something that some people that you see physically every week um yeah. and i think i think we're very fortunate as muslims for example that i feel like uh, the masjid for example if you go to the masjid regularly like that's that's actually my only connection to people as i've just moved to morocco i don't really know many people here right so i'm kind of in that situation where i'm starting from zero i don't know anyone and i'm trying to get to know people and so i know one brother he's someone i actually uh, who's helped me a lot here alhamdulillah and when i go to the masjid i see him uh, almost every day and then he's got other friends who he's introduced me to so i'm starting to get to know other people and and so i think as muslims we're very lucky that we could go to any community in the world just start going to the local masjid and then suddenly like you you know people um, I do think it's harder in, in maybe Pakistan, India, all these kind of countries because the type of people that go to my masjid here are very different to the type of people that went to masjid in, for example, in Turkey. So I used to go to the masjid in Turkey, but in Turkey, like, it was just full of old men, okay? <laughs> Everyone was just an old man, and they all spoke Turkish only. So it was still very tough in that sense. But I had other friends from uh, the UK and Canada in, in Turkey, so that was good. But here, where I go to the masjid here, like a lot of the people are from Europe. Most of the people, the young guys, are from Europe. So the, mas the masjid is filled with young people, and then loads of them are from Europe, and then loads of them speak English. So it's actually like a really good environment in that sense, alhamdulillah. So I don't know, but I remember when I was in Pakistan, like a lot of the masjid is just like older people. I don't know if it's different for, for India, if it's the same. Um, so maybe even like going to the masjid, all this stuff is, is something that is good for you, like mentally to get out of the house, to go physically and, and then, you know, see people and stuff. What you have to remember is that your physiology affects your psychology. Okay. So what will happen? Let's say I'm sitting in my room and I haven't been out in a month and I'm just feeling down or something like that. If you go outside and you take a walk, it will definitely make you feel better. Right. So what I would say is that if I was you, bro, I would start a daily routine where you go for a walk every day. Even if it's just for like three, four minutes where you just go around the block or whatever, I would definitely advise you do that. Because getting outside the house, I think is very important. I think you have to do it daily. For not going out for like a week or a month, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy in terms of like what effect it would probably have on you. So I, w I would say that that's something you should do. Between now and next week, you should just try going out for a walk like two, three times in the week and see what happens. I want you to try this. I want you to physically go out the house two, three times for a walk. I think like we live in a very digital kind of age and life and stuff i think it's very important to connect. is that when you're outside doing a walk you can always do athkar yeah this is this is a good thing uh doing athkar while you're walking all that stuff is is really really good <laughs>